Listen, boys, and let's bang it up! Joey Logano. Yeah, I don't know if that's yeah, it's gonna work. He got in front of Logano and was able to hold his spot. Yeah, nice absolutely. move. Uh, nice move, bold move by Danny Hamlin. Getting that big run, using that big box of air behind the 22 car and stepping out and making it happen going into turn three. No. Now Mark. Trex is saying, mm. hey Eric Jones, could you help me out with that same favor? Well, you just can't break that momentum. When you've got the run, and so Daniel Smith in the back, they're already around to the left side. Stan Doolittle, pump, car goes up, wheels are on. We'll see where this is gonna shake out for the four. And for the lead, Eric Almarola in traffic, trying to best Joey Logano as they work through these rookie drivers. Wow, this battle oh. is definitely not over. Now, Almarola is trapped in with behind the slower cars. Joy Logano, that experience, that knowledge, he knew exactly what lane to go in and where to go. And now you see Bowman here, he's going to try to go by along with the, the Jones. So Elmerola really made a bad, he's made another bad, bad decision right there, getting behind that lap car. Three. This time Logano goes to the bottom in three and four. And by one car length, Joey Logano holds on. Alex Bowman, Eric Jones, Almarola, Kurt Busch, Martin Truex. Kid. Austin, he's hanging on that lead. Well, I want to give it up. Well, these are huge points for somebody like Austin Dillon. I mean, you, you got a team trying to make it to the playoffs, but Kevin Harvick, he wants that playoff point that can add up, be so valuable for him later in this playoff and, and for the championship. And these two guys are such great friends. I mean, you know, they, they hardly ever have had a conflict or, a, <laughs> uh, or, or, or didn't, didn't agree about, each, about things on the track. And neither has a race win this year, but here they come. Off turn number four. And Austin Dillon. Down to the inside by two car lengths. Is your stage two winner. For the 20, 19, coming to floor. Watch the very top, watch your middle here. All two by two, 19's on your 20, still inside. 19's on you. Watch your middle. Oh, here goes the four to the outside, just like you called it, yep. DW. Gonna go three wide. I think three this. Three wide here. Wow. 19 <laughs> rolling on it. This is something Joey Logano has not experienced. Unfamiliar territory for him to be stuck in the middle, going backwards three wide. You see his car dancing around. I mean, that car needs to be out front. And right now, he's in the, he's the rock between two hard places. And here comes another Eric Elmerola to his outside. Still three wide. Woo. Wow. Jumps up in front of William Byron. Whoa, what a move. Our top three right now. The night. Oh, oh, Larson. No. Larson and. And Logano, they really had contact. Look at William Byron scoot through. How did he save that? That's all at, what, 180, 90 miles per hour. That's some quick hands, buddy. I'm going to tell you right now. I don't know how he did that. Tony, th these two tires, it's catching up on some of these guys. So I was going to say, those guys up front are trouble. Trouble, turn two. Trouble. Boyer in the fence. Boy, this keeps on hitting. The hits just keep on coming. He goes to the inside of Eric Jones. Maybe. Oh man, they oh, just they made contact. A tiny yeah. bit. Yeah, he contact. got into the left rear of the 20, and that turn, uh, that got him loose. Gosh, he was lucky and, right and he there. Got in, oh, boy, real close there. And, and he kind of got himself in a situation where, as he went to the inside of the 20, all of a sudden he became three wide. Because I believe that's the three of Austin Dillon, and it's almost like that car. Maybe somebody said inside and he had to move up the racetrack a little bit. Yeah, Jones did a really nice job. Of, Eric Jones did a great job of holding on to his car, but it just freed up the 14 so much he couldn't save By it. By the four I'm car. Uh-oh. Oh, oh and hang Austin on, Dillon's hang on. in the wall. Oh, on that Caution. I got, that was crazy. That was a crazy turn right there, guys. 
by the time he gets back here to the three. I do, no. but I don't think that really had anything to do here. We see the three's already high, having to get out of the throttle. Ooh. Oh, it looks oh, like he and William Byron. A little, a little help. <laughs> yeah, it looked like William Byron's car started to get away from him as the three went up the racetrack, and then they made contact. I don't think there's a lot of damage to that three car, but he's definitely going to have to come to the pits. Oh, I see Austin Dillon takes these guys three wide. Nice move by him going into turn one. Yeah, you, you can hear he already started losing grip getting out of the throttle. Man. Turn two, Eric Jones. Down in the grass after a spin. Let's see if he gets going with no caution, no caution yet, no caution yet. And that caution is out. Yeah, yeah. that grass so wet from overnight rain. He uh, right probably had a tire going down. I think it's a yep. left rear tire. Yep. Tries to get it slowed down. When that left rear tire goes down, you got so little control over the car. You're better off with a right rear flat. Gets down on the apron. Yeah. It's still just, whoa, whoa man. That could so, so dangerous to go back up into the traffic on the racetrack. Here we go. Checkers or wreckers? Rano with the big jump. Oh, I'll say. Didn't see that coming. You almost wonder if he didn't have to make a first gear restart <laughs> to be able to get that jump. <laughs> he had a turbo. Oh, they're going to get to the outside of Kyle Busch here. Oh, they're working. Is that Suarez? Yeah, Suarez looking on the outside. Three wide up off turn two. That'll allow the leaders to scoot away a little bit. Oh, Logano this, and Truex. This is not turning out the way I no, thought it was. Not at all what I was thinking this was going to go like. But they haven't made it in the third turn yet. <laughs> and look at Kurt Busch to the bottom. He is there for second place. Can he wow. get a big run here? Looking for his first win of the year. We're going to take the white flag under green. One Next flag is the race. One, by two. It's going to get ugly. I think it's going to get big and ugly down here in turn three or turn two. Oh, dang, that's turn one. <laughs> that turned down there, that one. <laughs> Keselowski to the inside on Suarez. And the front three get away. It's going to be Logano, Kurt Busch, or Martin Truex. I am just incredibly impressed with the 22 of Logano, Todd Gordon, that whole team. I mean, they have done everything right today, including that last restart. Started from the pole, got the number one pit stall, and coming to the line. I'd say that he's probably going to take home the victory. Joey Logano by two car lengths over Kurt Busch and Martin Truex. Get that, guys. Hell yeah. Perfect job, everybody. Way to execute a race. Hell yeah. A two car length win for Logano. Making me dizzy. I think I just saw him do about 15 donuts. <laughs> Today's victory was fueled by Sunoco. Sunoco. Fuel your best. Three wins at the Michigan International Speedway. Three wins from the pole. MVP awards for every department, but especially on that restart. What did you learn on the restarts before that you executed on the last one? <laughs> I can't tell you everything I learned, but it's, uh, you know, you, you, you race this whole race and you, you keep building that notebook up. But man, what a, a great execution day from our, our, our race car, obviously was very fast. Our pit crew is amazing. TJ Majors, my spotter, spotted his butt off up there. The race fans sticking around to Monday. You guys are the best. We love coming up here to Michigan. There's nothing like bringing a Ford to Victory Lane in their uh, home turf and Roger Penske's cars as well. There's no better feeling than that. This is a big win for us. You know the importance of this event for Ford Motor Company, the Michigan Heritage Trophy. Once again, Edsel Ford will keep it for another race here at MIS. He made it known how important it is and how, how uh, racing is in their, their blood at the Ford Motor Company and the, and the Ford family in particular. And uh, I couldn't be more proud to be able to deliver that for him. The Ford family won the first and the 100th here at MIS.